going to give him a cuddle here and have him have one crack at them in Australia. It's a really good even field, this. Whoever positions well yeah. is going to have an advantage, and I'm hoping it's shown me mercy. Number nine, abounding. Then four, deep respect. Seven, spirit of Mac. And, of course, um, the filly that you like there, Tiger Shark. Mm. She's in my camp as well. And uh, she could possibly lead pretty comfortably today. There's not as much pressure on her as what there was in the mode. Yeah, I agree, Maxie. Um, and Vinci, where do you think deep respect's going to posse up here? Well, it depends on how Kelly he reacts Kelly. to the blinkers. Yeah. Blinkers on. Um, what was the other one I could have picked from the yard with good oh, Yeah, he, he sort of mm. stood out amongst the males, didn't he? He did. He did, as did Show Me Mercy, your pick, Maxie. They were the two geldings or colts. Colts. They're both colts. One's a gelding, one's a colt. That looked terrific. And then I also, the, the, of the girls, it was abounding and, and Tiger Shark, leaning the way of Tiger Shark just because, well, a better price. And she's such a gross filly that when you see her really trimmed up, you think maybe today's the day to take notice. Yes, that, that's true. We're just waiting on a couple of them to move in for the gold edition. Uh, so, Bailey Wheeler on Defiant Spirit. Ryan Maloney was supposed to ride. Apparently, Ryan, what had... Kidney stones. Kidney stones. Yeah. yeah, awfully painful. So we mm. wish him a speedy recovery. I'm not yeah. sure what the process is there, but mm. last horse loading. Here's Josh for the gold edition. The gold edition's about to be run and one light blinking away. Favourites are bounding there, racing. Spirit of Mac away well, abounding, going forward quickly. Up into third of own Tiger Shark going forward as well. Ahead of Mick Spice, Show Me Mercy, Glass of Rosé, followed by Deep Respect, Defiant Spirit, Mashani, Renegade, Bold Comic and Sofrado. Avon's in front, second Tiger Shark and third the inside is Spirit of Mac and abounding fourth the outside. Glass of Rosé, fifth on the inside of Mick Spice, followed there by Show Me Mercy. Not much room for Mashani, Renegade the inside, creeping forward, Defiant Spirit, Deep Respect along way back. Uh, Sofrado's out three wide and bold comic a length and a half away. Avon in front. Second Tiger Shark at the 500. Going forward three wide. Spirit of Mackinac bounding four wide making her move. Glass of Rosé. Show me mercy. Further back to Mick Spice. Avon and Tiger Shark the first couple. Uh, bounding's a length and a half away. Show me mercy revving up down the outside. Avon the inside and Tiger Shark is still the first couple. Uh, bounding third. Tiger Shark. Avon the inside. Abounding further back to Show Me Mercy. Avon in front, lunging as a bounding. Oh, maybe a bounding. Did she get the bob? A bounding or a vine and a photo. Third will be Show Me Mercy, followed by Bold Comic, Spirit of Mac, <coughs> Tiger Shark, Sofrado, Glass of Rose, Deep Respect, Defiant Spirit, Mick Spice and Mashani Renegade. Yes, a bounding. A bounding has won. From a vote yes, and Josh, show me mercy. Uh, she's got a nose down on the line and uh, deserving victory to abounding. Everything went wrong last time, but today she's been able to get up for Martin Harley and Rob Heathcote. Uh, the 14 gets second at uh, a decent price, and then Show Me Mercy really winding up late, making up several lengths, and then we're waiting on fourth. Tiger Shark was quickly out of the gates, up outside of Avoni and drops off. Uh, she's in that photo for fourth and will clearly get it, number 10. So abounding number nine. Uh, she turned into the straight with that big white face. Martin waited to balance her up. These two, Bernie, out in front. Avoni and uh, Tiger Shark on the outside. They were giving a really good kick. They've just sort of felt the pinch with about 100 metres to go. And this is when abounding starts to launch. And on the extreme outside, show me mercy. Yeah, that's right. Great effort by all four of those horses. Abounding, abounding really the fittest, I guess, as far as the deepest into her campaigns of only being first up. Tiger Shark, I think, third up. Rob Heathcote was very confident from Tuesday morning with abounding this week. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Burn. This is not good for my hairstyle, but you know, I'll put up with it at the moment. Um, look, <coughs> she works super. Her last run was brilliant. Her win before that was brilliant. She's on the second line of um, betting in the three-year-old, $3 million race. That's where we're going. Whether I go straight there or give her another run in the Vaux Road, we'll wait and see how she pulls up. Martin never had a lot of luck at the last run. We know that. She was heavily back, but she was heavily back today. And 
I don't want it over again, but she's won and she's won a listed race. Fantastic for first light, first light racing. She's one of the flag bearers for the team now and she's going super. I reckon Martin was thinking about you at the 100. Uh, yeah, I was wondering whether it was going to be a knife, a gun, hanging. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at the uh, the guineas at this stage. Yeah, oh, definitely. She's going to the Magic Millions, but whether we give her another run in between, I'm not sure. And I really like her ridden a little bit conservatively. Yeah, and um, look, I love the fact that she atoned for an unlucky defeat last start. She had a few knockers. One of them sits up there. But anyway, he knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> Good on you, Rob. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit cheeky, wasn't it? Okay, uh, here we go. Nine beats 14, 6 and 10. One ten eighty eight the time there, and they did run home in the gold edition in 34.26. All honours with this lovely little filly abounding. Let's head south. Let's have a chat now with Irish jockey Martin Harley. He took out the gold edition here, Martin, on a bounding. What a brave effort. Every time you asked this little lady for something more, she gave it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was a bit worried when the rain started to come down. Even though she's won on a soft track before, she's uh, much better on a firmer track. But today it didn't get too bad. Not as bad as Doombin the last day. Um, but by God, she was gutsy. She found everywhere, everywhere. Every time I've asked her, she just kept finding big help when you've got a few horses sort of really letting down at the top of the straight because it's a long run home isn't it yeah for sure i thought it was 200 meters left their own when they started to peel off the rail i forgot it was a 600 meter straight but anyway um she got to the outside and on a fresh bit of ground and quickened up real well well done thank you